So let's look at count. All right, so count has many uses, and it's probably the most commonly used aggregate function, as I have already commented here. Like I said, it's used to tally up records, and uh, until later in the course, we're always using count star, um, and it, which works differently from count on a specific column name. Count is the only one that uses the asterisk, and I recommend for now that you always use the asterisk with it. So let's find out how many accounts we have in total. How do we find out how many accounts we have in total? Well, if we do our select star from account again, and we have a look down here, you can see in this bottom right corner, there's 30 rows. Um, our count will tell us how many rows we have in total without us having to physically look at what that is. So let's have this. We just type in select count star from account. So our account, uh, account is the name of the table. We use count star press F5, and we just get that one column that has the number 30 in there, telling us we have 30 rows of data. Okay. Um, now, first of all, you'll notice it has no column name, so whenever we don't have a column name, we want to make sure we put one in there, so we can just call this count accounts, or number of accounts, maybe. Num accounts. That's a good name for it. So use something like that. Um, then there uh, is the caveat that you can't just throw in other data in there. It just, if you really think about it, it doesn't make much sense to do so. So say I put in, um, let's put in ACC budget. You know, maybe I wanted to account and whatever budget I do this, and I get this error here, and the error says it's that ACK budget, that's this column right here I'm trying to use, is invalid in the select list. All right, and it says because it's not contained in an aggregate function or group by clause. Now I told you this group by thing, we're not going to learn about today. Um, but suffice it to say, if it says it needs to be in an aggregate function or a group by clause, at least for now, you can't put in a column here without using an aggregate function around it. So you'd have to do, you know, something like finding out what the minimum account budget is or something like that. For now, we're just going to stick to answering the question, though. I just want to show you that. So we have select count star from num accounts. Now we also have uh, how many active accounts do we have? Well, we just combine this count here with a where clause that only gives us the count of accounts that are active. If you remember from our data, let's just have another look at our select star from account. Okay, if you have, we know the count is active if it has a one in this active column. It's a bit column, so one means yes and zero means no. So we're just going to say if ac active is equal to one, right? And then we get a count here, which tells us that only 17 of our accounts are active, 13 have already deactivated. Now, obviously, this is a small sampling of data, so we have to make sure that we write our queries so that they're future proof. Um, so it's not like we could have just put out the number 17. We want to make sure that the function's doing the work for us. Now, we've also got another question here. It says, how many accounts have registered since November 1st, 2016? Well, um, we can do our count on that as well. So there's count. Again, here's another use for count. So we're just going to do count star all the time. I'm going to say as num registered because that's what the question's asking us, but we could have used anything that we want. So we'll do account from account, and then we go where. And now we're just going to do how many have registered since November 1st, 2016, right? Well, we're going to go uh, where ACK registration date, because that's our column that uh, figures out when they have. And it says since November 1st, you know, there's a little bit of playroom. And do we want things that are greater than November 1st or things that are greater than or equal to November 1st? I'm going to go with greater than or equal to, so we'll include November 1st. And we'll put in 2016, 11, 01. Now remember what I said with dates, you just put them in as text and then you put in year in four digits with a dash in between, month in two digits, dash again, and day in two digits. We run this, and we get a count. Now we know that five people have registered since November 1st, 2016 uh, in our sample. Now, how many accounts have both registered and quit since November 1st? Well, how do we know that? Well, we know that they registered since November 1st, whether they're active or not. But if we check whether they're active, we can just say and. So they are registered since that date, and they have deactivated. Account active is equal to zero. Okay. So this is how many registered and quit. Well, there we go. November 1st, we've got one person who registered after no or November 1st or later and who has also deactivated their account. Now, a lot of this is random data. You know, you probably find um, much larger numbers in other situations.